Okay, we're going to show how to completely set up a repeater from factory default settings. This is a DR2X. Repeater frequency output will be 444625. Input will be 449625. Standard offset for amateur UHF repeaters, at least in North America. This is a DR2X repeater. And again, complete uh, right out of the box factory type of settings. So, starting off. Turn on the power, as you've seen on the left hand side. Get it to focus where it needs to and see it doesn't get washed out. All right, first of all, let's go into the function. What we want to do first is go to ID set. Nothing is set. Important thing to do in the very, very beginning. So, as you can see, nothing. Put in the call sign N zero. A and C. Enter. That's all you have to do for the call sign. And again, this is a DR2X repeater, very similar to a DR1. All right. Um, let's go back just to look here from the very initial settings at this point. You've got an A and a, a, and a B. You will only see A in the initial. So you back up one more time. Now that you put in your your call sign or the repeater call sign in this case you'll see how you can set up both VFO A and B. On this repeater, you kind of see just above, I do have a mobile pack duplexer and a dummy load. I do not have anything connected to the B. So I'm going to set A as priority or I can set B as priority or control. I don't want it to, during this demonstration, to transmit at all on the second or transmit B and connector in the back. So I'm gonna set that to priority. More so just as a safety, plus I'll show you how I set up the control frequency. Okay, back into A. I wanna do A setup. And again, these are all initial settings. You touch the top, the uplink. All right, what do you want the repeater uplink to be? All right, so at this point, think of what the repeater's listening to. Four, four, nine, six, two, Five, like I mentioned, the repeater listens to the uplink, 449625, and the down, 444625. Megs. Now, right off, again, we're setting up just the A, keep my finger out of the way, general settings. From this, power, default is high, it could stay, 50 watts, Cycles down to low, which is 5, 20. And I'll leave it on high because I have a 100 watt dummy load into it, so it should be just fine. Function gets us into our menus again how you would set up your repeater. Try to get that to focus and not wash out. It looks a little hard to see. I'm going to read them to you because it's very hard to get a camera to focus and not get a glare with light on. Signaling this repeater in analog. Let's let's just keep it stock. You can change either of these. Let's say it requires a tone 100 if you want to change that. See how you are somewhat highlighted in yellow versus green on the top bar. If you want to change your required tone input, you can go up or down there. If you want to go over to your other side, your transmit. So you get receive and transmit. That's all you do. Toggle between it back and forth. Okay, so we're just going to keep a tone requirement to 100. If you do DCS, it was right below that, and that's what you'd set. Now, to determine what your repeater is actually going to be looking for, you go into the squelch. Squelch menu here. Receive and transmit. Because I said I wanted to use a tone, tone, transmit, I want to use tone. All right, the repeater in analog now requires a tone. Announcements. We've already set the ID, so let's go to the announcements. All right, announcements. And again, I apologize, this may be difficult to see. i do the best that I can here. Announcements. Interval, standard, every 10 minutes. You can go down. Oh, excuse me, it's not in there. Um, I was going to say go down, but I actually mean to go in to a menu. So there'll be some fumbles here. I have not set one of these up for a while, but CW, 
leave that as standard. You can go into other features at that point. Um, some repeaters do not want to send out the CW with the tone. So if you want to tone squelch, your end users want to not hear the CW with it, you just do CW without tone. That's what that stands for. There is an option for voice if you add the board, voice without tone. Out of the factory, it does not include the voice identifier, but it is an option if you put that board in. Back to CW. Announcement level, and that's how loud the CW will come across. I usually like to turn that down, not high, but low. Speed, standard requirement. I believe they recommend the 20 words per minute. I'm going to leave that, but that can toggle between 20, 24, 32, 16, and back to 20. There is a way that you can turn off the identifier if you're gonna provide it off with a link radio or some other form. Okay, so let's get back. And I'm not gonna to touch on every menu, but general setup. So, so far, to recap where we're at here, we will go back to screen so you can see it. In the A, the main VFO, we've got a repeater frequency. We have set a tone. We've also set the power. Let's go back into the function menu where you can add more things if you want. A lot of these you would not have to do, okay? Um, one thing that you might want to do, let's go into the mode remote. The unique feature about this repeater, the DR2X, it allows a secondary receiver to remote either DTMF or digital. Under remote, as you see on top, it is off. On. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that back and off. Command. This is the part I enjoy. Command. Right now it's set to digital. I am more familiar with analog, so it's gonna be under when you touch it again. DTMF, standard factory settings. You can change these. I am not going to change these. These are the features that you can do with the control. The secondary receiver, you can then set your activation DTMF and you can change the digits between it to whatever you want to secure the system. I will get into how to secure the actual control frequency shortly. Here's again what we have, standard settings. These can all be changed, for example, Activate, star 1111. That could be changed to 2222. Two, two, two. These could all be changed, or it could be 1234, just for example. You change those by going into the menu, and then you can pick your selection there. Let's go back. All right, display timer. Another setting that you Again, I don't want to get into all of the details, but some of them that I'm just showing you since will be in the submenus already. Okay, so what have we done so far? Bear with me. We have set the repeater, the transmit receive frequency, we've set that up in VFOA. We have set a required tone. We have verified that the uh, that we can have the control frequency, the secondary receiver listening for, as you've seen those DTMF tones. All right, how do we set up the control frequency? We have what we would want, at least now, you can set it more select or unique, but that is how you set up a repeater. So right now, if you put it into standard use, and I'm gonna reach for my HT, bear with me, and I'm going to program in, I can do this in VFO, at least for digital, 449, excuse me, 444, 625. And of course, this knows the standard offset. So it's not in repeat mode. So now if I key it up, I'll try to keep this on the side. Uh, it's in digital, so you'll see. Okay, so it will, it's not in repeat mode, so it's not gonna actually repeat yet until you back out of this menu. So see how you can get your signal strength in there. And as you see in when you backed out of it, you can see your A and your B. B is set to control, and we still have to set that up, but just to see what, that we're working right now in digital, if I key it up, there you go, see how it receives and transmits. Digital doesn't require any tone or other settings. Receive, transmit, when I key it up again, there you go, so it is transmitting. All right, that is the first part. Now, we're gonna go in to set up the control frequency. Under B, B setup. B 
before I go into this, let's go back and I want to show you why I say it's control C right up here. C T R L or C N T L, excuse me, C N T L. Just by touching here, you toggle between a secondary receiver and transmitter or priority or back to control. When you go into control, it will not transmit. It takes, see, it's only the receiver, the transmit. So you can leave that end connector open as long as it's in the control, the, the secondary transmit side connector. Okay, be set up. It will only have one frequency that you have to enter here, and you touch at the same. CNTL channel. Okay, on this one, again, generally in the United States, the control frequencies are 220 megahertz or greater. This is a two meter of 440 repeater. It does allow you, even though it's not recommended to my understanding, to use a two meter control frequency. However, let's just put in a control frequency of, let's do a standard 440. And this is only for demonstration, okay? It's easy to type in, it's only for demonstration. At this point, now if you think where we were before, we set it to DTMF. It was in digital, but I set it up for DTMF. So under this, okay, we've got there, Let's go back out of here once. Let's go back, well, no, excuse me, let's go forward. Not backwards, but forward. Now, what do we want our unique security, we'll call it. Under this 440, well, we might wanna put on some signaling. Under this, we can have it as a tone or a DCS. Let's put it on just for a tone of hmm, 1035, just to keep it simple. All right. Go back here. Now, under the squelch, you want to set it. This is like setting up the initial repeater, but this is just setting up the control frequency. So you don't have to set the transmit because in the control, it doesn't transmit on it. Just receive, setting it to tone. And you can back out of this. You will see it's an auto, all right? It will hear when you do it in digital. So for example, now we have we're back out into, we'll call it repeat mode. So if you see me key it up here, we're into the dummy load. You see how it receives and then transmits. Receive, transmit. And if I turn it up, you can hear it's, it is uh, passing audio. There you go. So just to prove that point of it. All right. So now you're curious to see if your control frequency is working and if this can listen. Okay. So if you go back into, and this isn't a demonstration particular with the FT-70, so I'm gonna do this on the side instead of bopping around the camera. So we set our control frequency as 440, even. 440000. The mode itself will be FM, and the tone itself, excuse me, it's set to tone, and the tone is 103.5. So I've now set that up just on the fly here to a 440 frequency. Now you're gonna see if I key it up and talk on it by chance. See how it's receiving? All right, it is hearing and receiving it. Let me say, is that gonna transmit? No, that's just local. The receiver on here is receiving it. So we do have a 440 repeater programmed in, and we also have a, um, a 440 control frequency. And again, this is just for demonstration, 440. Okay, all right, so let me pull out the speaker mic here. So it makes this a little easier. So DTMF controls, and pardon the camera setup. It is a camera phone because this is all a hobby, right? I'm not professional. So do my best demonstration now. The control frequencies, as you had seen in there before, included a star before. Let's go back into that real briefly here. All right. So that's under the 440 frequency. We already went into where we seen where the control was. Star 1111, star 2222. Kind of remember where that was. So let's try that. So when you hold your push to talk on your control frequency, you go star one, one, one. Now you'll hear it. That will go out on the actual transmit side. So even if your repeater is running in digital, that CW will come across like you heard out of the front speaker will actually transmit out of the main antenna. For example, star, get my buttons right, Two, 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 two. And again, 
the DTMFs and the purpose form can be changed. I just wanted to show you two of the first ones, um, activate, deactivate, okay? So those are just some important things just to show. Four, 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 six, two, five. All right, back to that frequency. Under the second one, as you probably saw me, um, when I put the last call I just sent out from the, the FTM 100, I sent 2222. Two, two, two. Under the standard settings, the 2222 two, two, two is deactivate or disable the repeater. And back to the repeater frequency here, 444625. Four, You'll see, and we're in the repeat mode. If I key it up, yeah, you hear it, hear the echo coming out of the front, but look, it deactivated the transmitter. Even in digital, you're hearing it come out locally, but it's not transmitting. That is just a demonstration of, for example, how the control frequency works. So back to the 440. All right, and back to make sure I'm back in analog the way I am FM, because that's how I set it up. I want to re-enable it star one wait for the cw all right that is a cw saying i'm activated four 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 six two five oops excuse me back to the repeater frequency back to digital because the repeater is used in digital see now it's repeating and that's just one demonstration of one of the features so what have we done during this 16 minutes and 37 seconds so far, besides uh, ramble a bunch. From complete scratch, we have set up a DR2X repeater to, in this case it's working in auto mode. If used in analog, the repeater itself would be a tone of 100. But again, I've been showing you in digital. If I go to, oh, well, let's show that last bit before I recap completely. We wanna go into analog. FM, and again, this is just using an FT70 for example. My FT70 want to make sure it's on tone, and I want to make sure the receiver, now remember, the receiver I had set to a tone of 100. The control channel was a 103.5. All right, in analog. We are now in analog. As you see, auto receive, transmit, in this case, fixed, excuse me, there we go. Now we receive in analog, transmit also in analog. It's an auto mode, auto mode. You can, fi you can fix that as you hear the squelch. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just an example. So then if somebody else is going back to digital, it switches back. So, okay, now to recap the last bit here. And I apologize if this is a little boring, but some are curious how to generally set it up. DR2X repeater. The repeater frequency is 444625. We've set that up completely. In auto mode, we have it set up with the tone of 100 on the analog side. We have set up a control frequency. And we have set up a control frequency of 440.000 with a required tone of 103.5. All of those settings can be customized to the end user, to whatever works the best for you or provides the most security. There are many other features here such as digital control receivers and other tones versus DCS. That depends on the end user and how you want to set it up. But with all this explaining in less than 20 minutes, with all my rambling and testing, out of the box, complete factory settings, that is a DR2X repeater that could be set up for installation. Set it, forget it, enjoy it. Have a good day, guys.